Let's take a look at how you duplicate or crop an image in Images Plus 3. Um, I've got an image here and first thing I'm going to do is look at cropping it and that's what uh, this toolbar button does. It's called copy a portion of and if it's depressed I can left click and drag a rectangle on the image and it'll create a new sub image with that rectangle as the boundary of the image. And that's a real nice uh, way to create smaller images or to, to quickly crop out an area that you want to maybe enhance further. Uh, it's copy portion. That's the uh, toolbar button. If it's depressed, it's on. If it's not depressed, then it's turned off. Another way is to use these two toolbar buttons. Now this one duplicates the image at its same scale and also copies its process history list. So let's see. Let's take a look at the process history list. See for this image I just have a read operation. Okay. Well, let's apply a filter to it. Maybe a couple of them. Uh, maybe color balance. I'll neutralize the background. Check neutralize and just click on that reddish background. And then maybe I'll apply digital development to brighten it a little. Okay. Uh, at this point, if I press the duplicate image, it'll create a second image, which is really a duplicate, both in size and in process history list. So here, if you're enhancing this image and want to try something new, uh, you can make a duplicate of it. You get a duplicate copy of the image, same size, and also the processing that's been done to it. You could maybe go back to color balance, reapply color balance, and suppose you want to try a different command in here, something like, uh, oh, how about... How about a, a contrast increase? Maybe we could brighten it a little. See how that was inserted between color balance and digital development. And then to reapply the digital development command, I could come in and uh, just press the next command to apply digital development automatically. So this is why you'd want to use the uh, duplicate uh, at the same scale image. Uh, make a test scenario, maybe try some different processing, edit the process history list, and then perhaps pick the best one to continue with. Okay. Um, if you want to duplicate an image, this P will duplicate it and reduce its size. And that can be handy if you want to uh, make a preview image of the uh, the whole image for uh, applying a rather lengthy filter like uh, deconvolution or something. It'll run a lot faster on a smaller image and then once you uh, get the right parameter settings you can take the command out of uh, this process history, paste it to this image and get a cup of coffee while it runs. And we'll cover that in detail here in the next two uh, video clips that look at process history in uh, great detail. Uh, what else? Well, you may want to actually change the size of the uh, the image a little bit more exact than just using the uh, copy portion of. And in this case you could use, uh, I'm sorry, the image size. And this allows you to either add, delete, or overwrite pixels along the top bottom, left, or right sides. So if I want to delete, let's say, 100 pixels from the top, I'd put in 100, do that, and press uh, Apply, and it'll take those off. Every time I press it, it'll keep clipping it down. And again, the, uh, the process history list tracks that. I double click back to the previous crop, previous, Here's the full size. I don't know, maybe I didn't like that at all. Select them, right click on them, 
delete, then those commands are gone. Okay, so image size off of the edit menu can be used to crop the borders neatly. Uh, maybe you have a bad row or column along the border. Uh, this particular command right here can be used to crop one, two, or three rows all the way around. Uh, it can be real handy at times. Okay, um, the other thing on the view menu, duplicate image, here you can actually specify a size. Double it, uh, 100 would be just the same as doing this kind of a duplicate. Or maybe you want to do 30%. See, it crops it down to a much smaller image. And uh, last one would be duplicate image to scale. Well, that's the same as, as using this one or the same as using duplicate at 100. Okay, and if you don't change the scale, it'll copy the um, process history exactly. Okay, that's how you crop an image or duplicate it in images plus three.